Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is an unboxing of one of the most iconic handbags from Louis Vuitton, the Louis Vuitton Speedy. I have wanted this bag ever since I saw this picture. Yes, I'm a big fan of Audrey Hepburn. However, although I love this uh, classic version, I'm not very keen on the, the cheddar leather that comes with the bag because it's hard to care for and looks really ugly when it gets dirty. This is what I mean. So I've decided to wait for a seasonal piece that comes with the treated leather handle, which never came. Eventually I'll run out of patience, so here it is. The very original Louis Vuitton Speedy in the classic size 25. Let's open it up. This is the receipt. Let's open it up. There you are. Now let's open the dust bag. All speedies come flat packed like this. So we can fit them in our suitcase for travel. So we just pull it open. Here are the two rolled top handles and the one-way zipper to open the back. And inside, the interior is just one big open compartment and a side zip pocket. Very simple. And the date coat is usually sits behind the loose pocket and it's not here. I'm not sure whether you're all aware, as of March this year, all Louis Vuitton handbags come with their microchip inside the lining of their bags instead of the regular date coat. In the past, every Louis Vuitton handbag came with a date coat embossed on a small piece of leather inside the bag, which enabled the customers to see where the bag was made and the month and year it was made. Although these coats aren't unique to each bag, it can be a good indicator as whether the bag is authentic. So why did they remove it? Apparently, according to the fashion house, the main reason for this change is to tackle the replica market, which is huge. The microchip now featured in this bag cannot be seen. The only people who have the access to the microchip scanner are the Louis Vuitton employees. Chanel also removed their authenticity card in May this year to join the party. What do we think about that? I believe this change would make it harder for the pre-loved market to be authenticated in the future. Please leave a comment below if you also have an opinion about this change. Now let's get back to this uh, gorgeous little bag. We can't talk about Speedy without mentioning of its predecessors, the Kipple. The kickball was officially introduced in 1930 by Gaston Vuitton, one of the sons of Georges Vuitton, who took control over the company after his father passed away. Yet yeah, he's the third generation to lead the company. I have done an unboxing video for the Louis Vuitton Petit Mall, in which I talked a lot about the Louis Vuitton history. Here's the link if you're interested. The kickball was uh, quickly adopted by travellers on its release to be used on short journeys or weekend getaways because you can easily fit in a week's wardrobe in the generously sized their kickball. The Speedy was introduced a couple of years later, originally in this cotton canvas in the size 30. 
It marked a turning point in the history of Louis Vuitton because it was in fact the very first handbag from the fashion house. It was originally named Le Express and it was soon changed to the name Stevie. Why do you think they made the change? My guess is it was released at the time when air travel became popular among the rich and famous. The name Express sounded like a train ride while the name Speedy represented more of a jet-set lifestyle of the society's elites. Leave me a comment if you agree with me. It was not until in the 1950s Louis Vuitton started uh, making the Speedy in this um, signature sturdy monogram canvas. In 1959, Audrey Hepburn requested Louis Vuitton to make her a smaller bag so she could carry it on a daily basis. As Audrey's request, Louis Vuitton introduced a smaller version of the Speedy, which is 25 cm wide. This is the birth of the Speedy 25, which has become a signature style for the brand. While the keyboard was intended for weekend journeys, the Speedy was designed for everyday use. These days, um, Speedy is also available in 35 centimeters and 40 centimeters. Of course, are they named Speedy 35 and Speedy 40. In 2011, the Speedy bandolier was introduced. Bandolier means uh, with a strap in French. So the bag can be shoulder carry or crossbody. Aside from the detachable shoulder strap, the bandolier also have a strap of leather running up on both sides of the bag. So you can recognize the bandolier even without their strap attached. Another difference is that the bandolier has a two-way zipper, so it's easier to open the bag. This classic version of Speedies are always made of the sturdy canvas with the, the cheddar handles and the piping. The cheddar leather is uh, an untreated and unprotected premium cowhide leather, which will darken to a dark brown over the years with usage. This process is called patina and is a good indicator of an authentic Louis Vuitton item. I'm not wild about the vachetta leather and the patina process. That's why I've been putting off getting this bag until I discovered that you actually can spray the vachetta leather to protect it from rain and dirt in order to achieve this uh, beautifully even brown color over time. Let me know if you want me to show you how to spray and protect the vachetta leather on this bag. This monogram speedy still holds its original design. It's made of one piece of the classic canvas around the body. For this reason, the orientation of the monogram is different from the front and the back. Can you see? See the LV is up and the back is down. Yeah, it's one piece. It also comes with a lock and key because the key ball came with the lock and key too. Yeah. So we can just uh, zip it up. And put the lock here. Now it's locked. Well this piece is made in France. Yep. I chose the original version over the bandolier because I love all things original. I am also not very keen on having the vachetta running up the side of the bag. Also at this size I think it looked nicer hand carrying it. Of course, it's only my own preference. I know most uh, people prefer the bandolier version for their shoulder carrying option. That's why uh, Louis Vuitton do not make many of the classic version anymore. It took my lovely essay a while to track this down for me. Louis Vuitton Speedy is one of the most popular and famous handbags in the world. And of course, Audrey Hepburn had contributed to the ongoing success of the Speedy. Even though it has a history of over 90 years, it is still very popular today.
because of its classic style and proportion. It is also very practical because the canvas is waterproof, scuff proof and tear proof. Perfect material for an everyday bag. In fact, it can be worn with just about everything. From a formal night out, to casual jeans and t-shirt, and even with my teddy coat. And to top it off, it has a great history behind it. There you go. That's the end of this unboxing video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you at my next video. Thanks for watching.